hello viewers in this video i'm going to show you how to make a pen drive bootable uh with in the in your seven installation decks or an image okay yes you can either use a uh, disk installation um or um, an iso image installation so follow me in this video and let's follow first step go to your start menu and type cmd in windows 7 it will appear on top of your start menu right click on it and choose run as administrator okay now if you are using windows xp uh, you go to the start menu go to all programs go to accessories and you see command prompt right click on it and run as administrator now when you open your your command prompt type in dexpat and hit enter wait for a little while and then you see dexpat write list dex yes and then dexpat will list the available dex on your computer dex0 represents your hard dex and then the other decks um, is a pen drive. Now, depending on the number of pen drive you have, you check the size of the pen drive and then choose the one you are using. I am using 8 gig pen drive, so definitely it's approximately 7.4. Okay, and the next step you will do, the next step you will do is to type select text one that's the name there's the text of the pen drive now the next step right clean yeah if you clean your pen drive after cleaning the next step you, you are going to create a partition on the pen drive okay it's necessary to make the pen drive good so right create partition primary sorry yeah create partition primary and hit enter the partitions are created but you will not see them by default you select partition one so right select partition types partition one okay and hit enter if your enter keyboard is not working you're gonna do it because you will only need it now that the partition is selected, what we are going to do is to assign. Now when you write assign, a window will pop up and ask you to format the pen drive before you'll be able to use it. So here, click on format pen drive and then you choose the file system as NTFS. And start, okay. You wait for a little while until it finishes formatting okay that was really quick all right now that we are finished uh formatting you type in the command assign again then autoplay will pop up telling you that the pen drive is now ready to be made bootable okay now we have finished preparing the pen drive to be made bootable the next step is to make it really bootable type exit and then leave the leave dex partition is very important exit and then leave the dex parts go to system 32 make sure you are in system 32 now you're going to make the pen drive bootable follow me the first step is to use the windows installation dex i have it on in my cd rom windows installation dex now you, you you see that drive is f the drive letter is f so you come to the command prompt and you type in the drive letter of your windows installation this mine is f f colon hit enter and the directory will be changed to f colon yes have you seen yeah so depending on your solution disk letter you do the same now when you open the, the installation you see this folder boot you want to go inside 
So you write CD boot. CD means change directory boot. Now after that you hit enter. All right, we are now in the directory boot. We need a tool in the boot called boot sect. It is that you are going to use to make the pen drive bootable. So you type boot sect. Then you type NT60. Then yeah, leave a space. NT60. Then the draft letter of your pen drive. Let's see the draft letter. My draft letter of the pen drive is G. So you check yours and you enter it accordingly. Hit enter. Yes, and now we have successfully made the pen drive boot up. Very, very simple. Boot sector restoration tool. All right. The next step is to copy the Windows 7 setup files and paste them inside the pen drive. So select everything inside. Control plus A and select everything inside. Right click, copy, and then go back to your pen drive. Right click and paste. Uh, I'm, I'm going to cancel it because I don't need it now. Cancel. We are finished making the pen drive tower from uh, the Windows installation. Now, assume you have an ISO or image on your computer. Okay. Find the drive letter of your computer, which mine is E. Yeah, let's check and see. Mine is E. So now that mine is E, if you have an image, you extract it into your folder and name it. Make sure that you don't leave spaces between the namings. You can write Windows 7 or Windows 7, any name. Yeah, assume you want to change it to Windows 7. Yes. But make sure that there is no space between the names. And that we are finished, we want to go into the Windows 7. In the same step we did for the Windows installation disk. So CD Windows 7. Hit enter. And when you hit enter, you write again CD boot and boot sect NT60, the drive letter of a pen drive. And there we are, we've got to go. So first, if you want to use um Installation index or the image, make sure that you have first prepared the pen drive and then you choose either methods. Thanks for watching and then subscribe to this channel. Bye.